let us discuss chord joining two points t1 t2 on the parabola y square equal to 4ax now if you take the parabola like this y square equal to 4ax as we discussed earlier any point can be taken as 81 80 square comma 280 particularly we require two points means to distinguish between these two points let us say this is t1 and this is t2 so this point will become 81 square comma 281 and this is 82 square comma 282 now we require the equation of line joining of these two points once you know the two points from straight line chapter two points form you can apply now first given parabola is y square equal to 4 ax let us consider equation 1 p 81 square comma 281 q 82 square comma 282 or two points on one now we require equation of pq so equation of chord joining chord joining pq otherwise you can write t1 t2 also joining t1 comma t2 is y minus let us take the first point y minus 281 is equal to now the formula y minus y1 equal to difference of x y coordinates by difference of x coordinates 2a into t1 minus t2 divided by a into t1 square minus t2 square into x minus 81 square we wrote this equation with the help of y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 now let us simplify a gets cancelled here y minus 2a t1 is equal to this is 2 into t1 minus t2 divided by a square minus b square formula a plus b into a minus b t1 plus t2 into t1 minus t2 into x minus 81 square now t1 minus t2 gets cancelled now go for cross multiplication y into t1 plus t2 minus 2a t1 into t1 plus t2 is equal to 2 into x minus 81 square again simplify y into t1 plus t2 minus 2a t1 square minus 2a t1 t2 is equal to 2x minus 2a t1 square we observe 2a t1 square is there with the same sign on both sides so cancelling these two getting 2x term to this side y into t1 plus t2 minus 2x minus 2a t1 t2 is equal to 0 now this is the equation of chord joining two points t1 t2 on the parabola of course if this chord this is principal axis if this chord passes through the focus a comma 0 that means if this chord passes through passes through focus s a comma 0 then it is called pq is called focal chord pq is called focal chord as we discussed earlier any chord passing through the focus is always called a focal chord now substitute wherever x and y is there a comma 0 so 0 into t1 plus t2 minus 2a minus 2a t1 t2 is equal to 0 so 2a t1 t2 is equal to minus 2a 2a gets cancelled t1 t2 is equal to minus 1 so when it is a focal chord the condition is t1 t2 is equal to minus t1 now you can see one more speciality in this one when t1 t2 is equal to minus 1 t2 is equal to minus 1 by t1 that means you can express the second coordinates in terms of first coordinates as q is equal to a t2 square comma 281 282 this is equivalent to a by t1 square comma minus 2a by t1 that means if a t1 square comma 281 is one end of the focal chord the other end of the focal chord is given by a by t1 square comma 
minus 2 a by t1 because t1 t2 equal to minus 1 that means we can use t2 equal to minus 1 by t1 in a t2 square comma 2 a t2 thus we will get in terms of single parameter t1.